Hello and welcome to the Team Whole Grain Kitchen. I'm Letty Waters and I'm joined by fellow parent and Olympic champion Greg Searle. How exciting. And we're going to be putting together a pud that you can make literally in 10 minutes flat. How are you in the kitchen? Well, certainly I'd be more comfortable sitting on the start of a rowing race than sitting here <laughs> on the start of a cooking thing with these ingredients out in front of me. But um, today, with you here to guide me, I'm sure we'll do something good. Well, look, this is really easy and you can impress your kids when you go okay. home with this one. Okay, Very it's good. called Mini Lemon Cheerio Cheesecakes. And it's a really lovely pudding that you can have in the evening, especially as those nights are getting lighter. If you grab that bowl of Cheerios, yep. they're going to be the crunchy base of your cheesecake. Okay. All right. Yeah. So just spoon them in like that. Yep. Now it might seem a little different using Cheerios in a pudding, but it's great because they provide a wonderful crunch to the lemon cheesecake. But not only that, it means that you're going to get some fibre, vitamins and minerals, you know, in a pudding, which is well, great. I love the idea of giving that to my kids because I want to keep them as healthy as I can. Fantastic. All right. Well, you've done that rather well. Now, Slightly tricky, if you bring the big bowl over, okay. right, I want you to scrape the Greek yogurt into the bowl using that little spatula. Lemon curd in there. Yeah. Same spatula. Same spatula, because it's all going to get mixed together. Yeah. We're going to now add an ingredient, lemon zest, okay. which I want you to do. Now, off you go. Yeah, smells nice. Let's too. have a look. Yeah, it smells really, really good. If you really want to get the flavour of the lemon, it's the zest which is going to give it that flavour. Then if you just sort of scrape it, sort of, yeah. and sort of pick it up and, and then just throw it in. Okay. Right. Now, I'm just going to move this away yeah. because what we're going to do now is to lightly whip some cream. All right. So show me how you whip. Think I can do that? I think so. Go on. I think you should be very good at this, actually. Now, what about um, when children do a lot of you know, sport and stuff. What would your advice be? Yeah, well, I guess it's pretty important to make sure they've got enough energy. Um, something afterwards, definitely, when, when I've been training, I make sure I get some food in as fast as I can. I think there's probably a window of about 30 minutes to get, get good energy back in. Obviously, cereal will be great stuff to get in. And for me, it's pretty easy because I can prepare it. A little bit more. OK, I'm going to carry on whipping that. Okay. You're going to very slowly Yep. Mix those ingredients together for me. If you leave the yeah. bowl on, on the board, yeah. on the board, that's it. Oh, on the board, yeah. Yep. And yep. just slowly mix that together. Yeah. Fantastic. Now look, you can take oh, over yes. that now. Look, can you see that's nearly yep. whipped? Just give it a few more okay. seconds. I'd say that is about probably there. Yep. Okay? And then if you just scrape all of that into there. Yeah. Good. So probably a good thing to do now would be to use a big spoon. Right. And when you fold, you want to cut into the mixture like that. Figure okay. eight and yep. turn the bowl and then cut it in. Off you go. Okay. So cut into it and yep. fold it good. in. Yeah. And turn the bowl. Oh. That's it. Good. That's probably perfect now. I'm just going to taste it to make sure it's all right. Yeah, it's all right. Good. Pretty good and really, really, really light. Right, this is where you have to be a little bit neat. Okay. So you're going to do this bit? No, no, you're <laughs> going to do this bit. I'm going to do one. Okay. And you just want to just very carefully spoon. Now, what you want to do when you do this, Greg, is not to just... Can you see I'm just letting it go in from the centre? And that way you get it really yeah, neat. It'll look nice. Right. Go. Good. Yes. Yeah, and this yeah. is the other reason why you don't want the cream too stiff because it would be quite difficult to do. Off you go. Yeah, that's plenty. Good. And you could probably put a bit in there as well so it's evened out. Is it? That's it. So, all we've got to do now yep. is put it in the fridge for about half an hour and then we're ready to decorate it. So, off you go. Lovely. Thank you. Right. Now, this is. When you can get the kids involved, well, actually, you can involve them with the whole thing, but the decoration bit, we're going to sort of do, what do you think, smiley face? Smiley face is sound when good When you've for won the kids. all your races? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we've got some strawberries here, which we can just sort of stick. Okay. More Cheerios. More Cheerios, a bit more whole grain, which is good for them. Yeah, absolutely. So you can go along okay. and have a little Can I make these practice. into little eyes, I think? 
It's really nice to keep the fruit whole and that way it stays nice and juicy or keep it quite sort of chunky and big. Well, for someone who told me that you were no good in the kitchen, you've proved us wrong, Greg. I think even the camera crew are impressed. Yeah, that's not bad, is it? I'm happy with that. So there you have it. Mini Lemon Cheerios Cheesecakes. Well done. It's been a pleasure cooking with you. Thank you. So if you would like to know more about the recipes I've created for Nestle, then go on to wholegrain.co.uk. And remember, all Nestle cereals contain whole grain. Just look for the green banner on the pack and think whole grain guaranteed. <laughs>